I don't know about you, but we think it might be time for a little R and R after last night's election, and by R and R we mean rant and rave. I also mean rest and relaxation. <laughs> I could use some. We of need that. the rest and relaxation, but we're going to give you rant and rave. Absolutely. Well, here are Fox Sports 1670s Bill Shanks and our very own Tucker Sargent to talk college football. Rant and rave for this great football week, and we start in the SEC where Joker Phillips was fired at Kentucky the other day. He couldn't even make it to Macon for the Macon Touchdown Club. So the question, Tucker, is who will be the next SEC coach fired? I think uh, Derek Dooley at Tennessee is the, is on the, the biggest hot seat. You got Gene Chizik, he's also on the hot seat. But the administration at Auburn has already said they're going to wait until the end of the season to evaluate what's going on there. So I think Dooley, uh, my alma mater, Troy, almost beat them last week. They're on, mm -hmm. he's, he's struggling. Yeah, he's struggling, no doubt. But I think it'll be Gene Chizik, and I think it'll be on December the 2nd. Uh, that is the day that the buyout goes from $10 million to $7.5 million. They'll save $2.5 million and wait until December 2nd and then get rid of Chizik, who's been awful. And that leads us into our next topic, Tucker, uh, Georgia versus Auburn. I'm a Georgia fan. You're an Auburn fan. What do you think? I told you when I came in, I didn't even bring in an Auburn prop today because I know Auburn's not going to win this game. I didn't even want to look like a fool when they went out and blew it. Eric Murray's going to throw it all over that defense. And I think Chiswick said today, actually, that Eric Murray's completion rate when he's getting rushed is something like 70%. I know you Georgia fans may not uh, have all the faith in him all the time, but he's going to do fine against Auburn. 51-13, to 13, the Georgia Bulldogs will kill the Auburn Tigers. <laughs> oh, God! And just extend that misery even longer into the season. Of course, it'll be even worse in a couple of weeks when you lose to Alabama. Oh. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about Alabama. Will they have trouble this week with Texas A&M? You know, Tucker, I think they might have trouble with A&M. They'll probably win the ball game. I'm not going to dare predict that the Aggies would win over oh. the Crimson Tide. But look, Johnny Football... Johnny Manziel has been very good. He actually leads the SEC in average uh, number of yards, rushing yards per game in the conference this year. He's the quarterback. He's been very good. And I think that'll be a challenge for Alabama's defense, but they'll still win. Yeah, they'll still win. Manziel's throwing, throwing out of the record books, what, 24, 2,500 yards at this point. He's only he's less than 80 yards from breaking the 1,000-yard mark on the ground. And he's got the freshman to freshman connection, Mike Evans out at the, the wide out, Mike Swope, the senior receiver. Texas A&M is going to pose a problem for that Alabama secondary, but Alabama is still going to win the game. Final topic, we have to be very careful about this. Falcons versus Saints. The reason we have to be careful is because the GM of this station is a Saints fan. Yeah. I don't care. The Falcons are going to kill Derrick Rogers' New Orleans Saints this weekend. It's going to be bloody murder in New Orleans because the 8-0 Falcons will be 9-0, Tucker, after they go down to the Mercedes-Benz Pinto Superdome. They will, and if there was any doubt that the Falcons would win the, the uh, division this year, this game is going to prove all the doubters wrong. The Falcons will take care of the Saints, but next week, look out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Bill. Should be fun. Yeah, the Falcons are doing very well, but, you know, I want them to lose at some point so they yeah. can recover from it. They don't need to have the cloud over their head of being the undefeated team and whether they'll go 16-0 or not. They're not that good. They're <laughs> pretty good, but not great. Right. At least not yet. All right, we'll see you on Friday for high school football with the end zone presented by Safe Aldo.